before we do any metal work, I'm going to shape this up a little bit more. Uh, and I do want to get more of a low profile for the um, side of the stone, make it more uniform uh, the best I can anyway. And then I think I want to flatten this edge down a little bit because you can kind of see there's there's a crease there where it's starting to go over. Um, I would like to actually have more of a flat edge if I can uh, for the for the silver work. So let's go ahead and go over to the machine and get to shaping. Next step is to actually get rid of these nicks here in the back side. I don't want the nicks there. So we're going to clean that up. We're going to shape this down a little bit. Um, so I might actually do the shaping on the, the hard diamond wheel right there, since it's actually a lot more smoother than the blue machine is. Uh, it's actually more worn. But we're going to do that, and then we're going to refinish the surface here. And same thing as um, my other obsidian video. We're gonna do everything here on the Genie because all of the wheels are more worn and I get a better finished product uh, for the Obsidian. All right, polishing is all done. Now we just need to focus on the sterling silver backing. Just need to figure out what to do with that. Sure is a beautiful stone though. Look at that polish. Turns out I was recording for like 10 minutes. <laughs> it's okay though. So, I guess, um, so what I did, uh, we have our stone here. I have a, a sheet of sterling silver. I used blue tape and I folded it over and I taped the back of the stone so I can draw around the stone of where the stone's gonna sit. Uh, for the tools I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a jeweler saw. I'm gonna use a hole punch that I got from Michaels. I'm going to also use um, this bezel wire that I have, um, various, pliers, pencil, and then um, that little jump ring there. Oh, and I don't have like regular like jeweler wax to coat the blade with. Uh, so I have this scented uh, candied mulberry spice uh, <laughs> wax. So <laughs> any professional jewelers out there that are watching this, I am so sorry. This is kind of all I had on hand. <laughs> but it should work for what I needed to do. First step is figuring out the design of where the bale is going to go, which is going to be up here. So I already drew, drew around it and I taped the stone to the sterling silver. Now we're just trying to figure out the design of the bale up here. So I think I might just have it come up like so and find a good meeting spot at the top. Now I like to use pencil for this so I can kind of don't have to worry about messing up. So that's where I'd like to have the hole to be. So usually when I'm working with obsidian, I like to keep things simple. Uh, simple is always better, in my opinion. I've never used a jeweler saw before, so this is going to be interesting. So I'm assuming I just do this. Get some wax on the blade here. Again, smells delicious. We want to take this hole punch here and get the hole punched out. That looks pretty centered to me, right where the hole I drew was at. So what I gotta do is twist on this 
this bar here and I'll punch a hole straight through this uh, sheet of sterling silver. Slow and steady. Sometimes you might have to hold the metal in place because it's because it's gonna it's gonna want to turn the metal with it, which we don't want. So I think I already punched through. See that little shine right there? We are through. Let's go ahead and undo that. And just like that, we have perfect little hole for our pendant okay i'm actually gonna go get some sleep and then i'm gonna resume this tomorrow so it's gonna be like several hours for me it's gonna be a, just a brief second for you and we're back so this next step we're gonna need tin snips torch solder and some uh flux and we're also gonna need files and uh, sandpaper. Because this is where things start to get down to uh, the, the final bit here. So what we're gonna do is, we are going to measure out how much of this bezel material we're gonna need. And we are going to solder it to the backing here.
Congratulations, Lisa. This pendant is now yours. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for your entry. Just be sure to send me an email with your mailing address so I can get this sent out as soon as possible. And for everyone else that is subscribed that has supported me since day one, thank you for your comments as well. Uh, don't worry, I will do more giveaways down the road. I got plenty of rocks to do projects with and give out. As always, thank you for your time and um, your support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Rock on.